Four decades, owning a car remained a distant dream for many in India. But in 2008, Tata Motors dared to disrupt the automotive landscape with the revolutionary Tata Nano, dubbed the world's cheapest car. Myself, Salvador, Roberto, Nicolas, and Julian are going to present this company's approach on target pricing, costing versus innovation and quality, value chain, Kaizen costing, and finally, a conclusion. Welcome everyone. Now I will explore the Tata Nano's journey, a brave venture by Tata Motors to create the world's cheapest car, targeting a sale price of just 100,000 rupees, around $2,000. This vision challenged a traditional automotive pricing model aiming to make a car ownership accessible to millions who could only dream of it. To meet this ambitious price, Tata Motors implemented a strategy focused on simplicity, cost-effective materials, and innovative engineering. The Nano's design minimized manufacturing complexities, while partnerships with suppliers ensured components were cost-efficient without compromising quality. This approach grounded a frugal engineering required creativity and problem-solving to deliver a car within tight cost constraints. However, the Nano faced significant challenges. Quality and safety perceptions coupled with the stigma of being labeled to the cheapest card deterred potential buyers. Operational feedbacks and misaligned market dynamics further complicated its, its adoption, ultimately leading to its discontinuation. Despite these obstacles, the Nano project offers invaluable lessons. It highlights the importance of aligning product offering, offerings with consumer aspirations beyond mere costs. The experience underscores the delicate balance between innovation, cost cutting, and maintaining quality. It also emphasizes the need for flexibility and adaptability in strategy, responding to a market feedback and changing conditions. As we reflect on Nano's journey, it's clear that while the car did not achieve the commercial success, it remains a bold experiment in automotive history. Tata Motors' foray into target pricing with the Nano has provided critical insights into the interplay between cost, value, and consumer perception, lessons that continue to influence the industry today. In conclusion, Tata Nano's story is a fascinating case study on the challenges and opportunities of making car ownership accessible to millions. It's a testament to the spirit of innovation and the complexities of market strategy in the face of ambitious goals. Tata Motors' approach to the Tata Nano to highlighted the significant tension between the principles of aggressive cost management and the pursuit of innovation. This dynamic is a critical aspect of product development, especially in price-sensitive markets where affordability is key. The Nano project aimed to reconcile these often competing objectives with varying degrees of success. Over the course of its development and production, the Nano became a case study in the trade-offs between keeping costings low and introducing innovative features. As a result, costing in the context of Tata Nano was not merely a financial exercise, but the cornerstone of the vehicle's entire value proposition. So, in order to achieve their goals, they would have to innovate completely the, ma the manufacturing sector. The company rethought traditional car assembly methods. The, na the Nano was designed to be assembled with adhesives and fewer welds, which reduced manufacturing complete complexity and costs. They also prioritized a lean design. The Nano's design emphasized minimalism. It had to be lightweight, which shaved on materials and fuel, but robust enough to handle India's challenging roads. The car was engineered without many features that were standard in other vehicles, such as air conditioning, airbags, power steering, and in some models, even without passenger side mirrors. 
Innovation is often seen as the engine of added value and differentiation in the marketplace. However, in the case of Nano, innovation had to be balanced against the overriding imperative of low cost. Therefore, they embraced frugal innovation, a concept that emphasizes simplicity and clever problem solving within severe resource constraints. The Nano was innovative not in the sense of high-tech features, but it's in reimagining way of what a car could be when every unnecessary cost was stripped away. They also innovated the sa in the safety part of a car, since they had to meet Indian safety standards while being while being extremely cheap and an extremely cheap car, which was incredible since India is way more dangerous to drive in than in, for example, Europe. The quantity of innovation in the Nano was measured and deliberate. Tata Motors could not afford to incorporate extensive high-cost innovations into the Nano without compromising its target pricing strategy. The innovations that were included had to contribute to either reducing the cost of the video the vehicle or were deemed as is essential for the car to be commercially viable. So therefore, the quantity produced was paramount to the profitability of the business. The value chain. The Tata Nano's value chain from the very start to delivery was designed to fulfill the promise of the most affordable car there is while also maintaining adequate quality and safety standards. This value chain shows how Tata Motors attempted to capture value at each stage. This process starts with the research and development. The R&D process was driven by innovation with a, cost, with a focus on cost saving and simplicity. The challenge for this stage was to design a car that made basic safety and performance standards while taking away non-essential elements. Then we have design. This car's design had to be innovative enough to stand out in the market, yet simple enough to keep production costs low. The, the use of lightweight materials, a compact engine, and a simplified assembly process were all essential to this phase. Procurement. The company worked closely with suppliers to ensure parts were not only affordable, but also met Tata's quality standards. Suppliers were often involved right from the design stage to ensure that the components could be manufactured at, at the target cost. The manufacturing process was designed for efficiency and cost effectiveness. The car was assembled in a new plant which was set up to maximize productivity and minimize waste. The run used innovative techniques which didn't require expensive equipment. Then in distribution, the company initially planned to sell the car through traditional de dealerships such an unconventional outlets to reach a wider audience and cost, cut costs. However, this model faced challenges such as convincing traditional car buyers to purchase vehicle through non-traditional ch channels. The marketing strategy was built around its affordability. However, this focus led to a perception problem as many potential customers associated a low price with also low quality. Therefore, Tata had to work on rebranding the Nano. However, they still struggled to shake off its image as a cheapest car. And lastly, service. Tata Motors provided a warranty and after sales support to Nano customers. But the perception of the car as a low budget vehicle meant that the, the expectations for after sales service were also very low. I want to start talking about Kaizen costing. But first of all, I want to talk about the definition. So what's Kaizen costing? It is the continuous improvement method of cost reduction. So basically, by making systematic attempts to reach the target cost level, Kaizen aims to maintain existing cost levels for items that are presently being made. As you can see on the right side of the image, Kaizen costing is a Japanese combination of terms meaning change for improvement. In Tata Nano, they applied Kaizen costing in the following way. Tata Nano divided into branches like cross-functional teams, which are teams composed of individuals from different departments of the company, including engineering, production, supply chain, 
that will collaborate to identify potential cost-saving measures. Also, small incremental changes. Tata Motors will seek to implement small improvements. These improvements could include optimizing the layout of the production line, reducing energy consumption, improving the procurement process, or even making minor, minor changes to the design of parts to make them easier and cheaper to manufacture. Also, feedback loops. Uh, they created regular feedback mechanisms that will be put in place to assess the impact of the changes and to ensure that they are providing the desired cost reductions without affecting quality. Supplier involvement. Suppliers will be involved in the Kaizen process to help identify cost savings in materials and components without compromising the quality of the inputs. And finally, one of the most important ones, customer feedback. Customer feedback will be incorporated to ensure that cost reductions do not negatively impact on customer satisfaction. In, in conclusion, Tata Nano's journey balances cost, innovation, and perception. Target pricing emphasizes continuous improvement and efficiency. Nano's challenges highlight, highlights flexibility and market analysis, and it provides many lessons for product development for other companies in the future and cost management. Thank you.